Welcome to the Bradlink Podcast, your home for expert wedding planning advice. Today, we've got a pair from Southern Bell Events. I want to go ahead and introduce my guests. Hi, my name is Lauren Grassa. Hi, my name is Diane Powell, and I am the owner and creator of Southern Bell Events. So I know that your venue, you work with a lot of different couples, and sometimes you've told me they walk in and they completely don't know anything about what they want or how to figure it out. So what are some things that they're missing out on if they really don't have that sort of direction? That's right. We have an event venue created in a historic storefront, store area. It's about 3,500 square feet, and it's huge. Then we sit down and we start to say, well, what are you thinking? One of the frustrating things for us is that people have not given a lot of thought to their wedding or their rehearsal dinner, and they don't even know where to start. I have that issue, too, as a wedding planner, and I know what happens for us is we end up wasting a whole lot of time. They tend to waste a lot of money as well, maybe purchasing things or getting things that they're not necessarily going to use that stay in the box and they never use it for their wedding. But I know for you all, there's a big lost opportunity in the way that they're going to be able to use your decor and the way that they can style their event space, because that's one of your specialties, right? Certainly. Because we're vintage, I've just collected great pieces, furniture, ornate mirrors, incredible crystal, and fun things that people could use for centerpieces or just decor. So there's really just a lost opportunity with using all of your props and everything to help decorate the space at that point. Yes, that's right. So they end up wasting a lot of time and a lot of money because you're right, they'll go to Hobby Lobby and spend lots of money kind of picking all this and a little of that. Those things end up being left in the garage for years afterwards. Mm -hmm. So weddings are expensive enough. So if somebody's really trying to figure out a direction that they want to go with their decor and styling things and their just inspiration in general, what kind of suggestions would you use or what's your process when you're working with a client to figure out what they want? For me, it is really helpful to when I need inspiration is to go to a store where I can pick things up, where I can hold it, touch it. You're going to be drawn to certain things. You may be drawn to much more rustic things or you're going to be drawn to the glitter section. Things are really sparkly. And once you kind of even just narrow that down, you're going to be able to start to make some choices. I agree that really would help them figure out their personal style. And sometimes I tell people to go look in your closet or look around your house. Definitely going to your closet's a big deal. You can choose that color. What do you really love in that color? Or what do you wear a lot? And if you look really bad in a certain <laughs> color, you don't want that on your table even. That would work for everybody except for me because everything in my closet is black. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing a black wedding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, But I do have a lot of brides that come in and say, well, I don't really have a style or I don't really know or I'm just really plain. They definitely have some choices on which way they would lean. And I think yeah. plain isn't always a bad thing. It's just simple. And simple mm -hmm. can be really elegant. I think that we find that now, floral arrangements, we're seeing a lot of those where people are coming in and just want greenery. A couple of little white roses here or there or a little baby's breath. I think those are just beautiful. And that greenery really probably pops with all the props and things that you all already provide. The other thing that we try to steer people to is really just talking to their wedding professionals for that reason. As far as asking advice, do you suggest in asking others what they should do? So people are always going to have an opinion. They're always going to say what you should do for your wedding. But just remember, it is your wedding, your memories, and your photographs. But um, you don't have to take it all and don't feel obligated that just because you asked for advice that you have to use every bit of it. So if we were interested in doing an event at your space, what kind of events do you all specialize in? The building formerly held the Southern Bell Telephone. And there were 40 women operators that uh, worked in the building. And I just thought, I love that image of these women working really hard almost 100 years ago. And then we have beautiful hardwood floors and pressed tin ceilings. So when you walk in, there's just a feeling of permanence and feeling of, wow, this place has stood the test of time. That's one thing that a vintage venue gives you. So I think it sounds like the perfect place for like a vintage wedding as well. And so rehearsal dinners, showers, and you help too with the day of too when you're there, right? As far as getting them down the aisle and things like that, all that's included. Getting people down the aisle, getting people seated, 
we'll help you with all that. We'll be there for you. We always use a buffet. We've got a beautiful 100-year-old counter. But sometimes caterers will come and drop the food. And people don't plan for how is the food getting served or how is the food getting replenished. Because if you're having 65, 75, 100 people there, if you haven't arranged with a caterer to stay and serve, we'll step in and do that for you. Wow, so y'all are working. That means like you're setting up the venue, doing all the linens, getting all the props ready, getting them down the aisle, managing their timeline, helping replenish the buffet. I know that also includes you might be busting tables and all kinds <laughs> of things. So that's a lot of service all packed into one. It is. We know that on a wedding day, it's stressful. Your mind just kind of goes other places. Mm -hmm. So you need someone that's been there, done it, keep moving people forward, keep an eye on the clock. You can go from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock really fast mm -hmm. and then realize that people haven't made their toast or there was a speech that somebody wanted to make and they've forgotten that, that to slip that in. So if somebody was interested in reaching out to mm -hmm. you about your event space, where can they find you? Oh, please go to the website. That's southernbelleevents.com. Just send us an email at info at southernbelleevents.com. We'll be happy to talk with you. We'd love for you to come down and see the venue. We have lots of photographs on our website, but just coming down and seeing those beautiful hardwood floors and the big windows, I think you'll really love it. So if somebody's interested in a shower, a rehearsal dinner, or a historic vintage location for their wedding, you can reach out to Southern Bell Events. We do have a free download to help you get your florals planned out, especially if you're going to be able to work with a venue like Southern Bell Events that has so many opportunities to use things like vintage props. So when you're working on your florals, we have a free floral cheat sheet that you can download with the link below. And you can always contact Southern Bell Events to get more inspiration and check out their Pinterest page too. So you can see a lot of the props that they have available. And for more expert wedding planning advice, you can follow us at The Bradley.